Okay, this video is how to make your lock screen um, customize um, something that looks like this. Okay, as you can see, my lock screen, oops, my lock screen, it's got the customized uh, time, it's got the date, and if you can see it, it's kind of have, uh, it has February, Thursday the 14th, so happy Thursday, everyone. Um, and it has a little um, option, you know, I don't think you could see it on the video, but a little option right here that um, allows you to put the weather out and um, technically I have two things running right now I have my actual lock screen theme and then I have something that hides the top bar that plays the the clock at the very top I'll show you how to do all that okay obviously so what you have to do obviously you have to have a jailbroken iPhone so once you have that jailbroken let's go ahead and go into Cydia you're gonna need three things you're gonna need um, you're gonna need Winterboard, which is the theme applicator, I guess you could say. It just allows you to change the theme of your phone. Um, so you're just gonna go in your search bar, type in Winterboard with no space, and there it is, Winterboard. Just go ahead, click it, install it if you don't already have it. Next thing you'll need is called Clock Builder 5 Theme. Again, no space between Clock and Builder, so it's just Clock Builder 5 Theme. This is gonna install um, the Clock Builder 5 Theme, which is typography I think or something like that and it's also gonna download this thing called GMT sync which allows the actual app called clock builder to sync into your winter board themes basically um, the actual app clock builder is actually an app in like the iTunes store like you can actually go to the iTunes store and buy it um, but the way I'm gonna show you is how to get it for free it's 99 cents so if you want the latest version you're gonna go ahead and buy it but if you want it free like me you're gonna do what I'm gonna do right now. So the next thing you're gonna need is called App Cake. There's no space again, App Cake, and it's the second one. And if you actually type in App Cake and you search it, it, it will tell you who it's from. Get the one from Sinful iPhone Repo. It's uh, I don't know why I just I choose Sinful over XLIs, but um, if you don't have the Sinful iPhone Repo, you're gonna go to Manage Sources, Edit, Add. And then you're gonna click, and then you're gonna type in um, www.sinfuliphonerepo, oops, repo.com. You're gonna click Add Source. Another screen will pop up. Just click Add Anyway. Let it um, update your sources, and then you can search it again, and then App Cake will come up. Um, so yeah, once you have all this um, installed, and you have them all on your phone. Uh, we're gonna start so this is the clock builder app right here you, like I said you can download it from iTunes for 99 cents um, but if you don't have 99 cents to spend then you're gonna go into app cake so you're gonna go into app cake whoops crash so you're gonna go into app cake it's gonna tell you to um, update just click uh, not now so like this right here just click not now um, go to search and type in clock with a space Builder, clock builder, and there it is. It's gonna be the only one, so just click it. Um, click download right here. This blue bar. Click download. Now these two first files right here from uploading and fiber upload, they're version 1.7. But if you click into them, they're taking off the website. So you're gonna go to the third one down, which is version 1.6.4, and uh, it's not the latest version, but for free, it's worth it. Um, just go ahead and click it now this screen will pop up and sometimes if it takes a long time to load just go ahead and click back and go back into it eventually the website will show up so if it's stuck on loading and it's taking forever to load just back click it back again so anyways once it comes up you're gonna go down into the right a little bit and you're gonna click slow download that's right here so slow download it's gonna give you a 30 second timer just wait for it Okay, once it's done, just scroll down a tiny bit and you'll see a little tiny check mark arrow or check mark thing and it's gonna say click here to download. Just go ahead and click that. And if you see down here, it says um, there's a little uh, option you can click on. It says download. Go ahead and tap on it and it will start downloading your clock builder app. Once it gets all the way done, it will be in your downloaded and here it is, my downloaded just go ahead and click install and I already have it installed but you just click install 
let it install once it's done it should be somewhere on your um, home screen mine's I put it in mine in a folder so mine oops mine's right here mine's right here clock builder so anyways once you do all that you you have clock builder and now you can start making the theme so if you go into clock builder app let it load a little bit and uh, this is my previous theme um, but basically you're gonna have a uh, a thing that's gonna look like this. It's gonna have no image in the background. It's gonna have nothing, no, uh, none of these options right here. These are all things you add. So basically, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a black screen with nothing on it, plain and boring. So to get stuff on it, you're gonna go into settings right here, the little cogs, and then you're gonna go into background and you're gonna choose whatever. Um, whatever image you're gonna want to do so I did this one it's a picture of my piano so there's my picture of my piano right there and you can go ahead and click uh, list right here there's a little button that says list and you can click this blue box um, with a little plus sign in it and this will let you add some um, some things you can add to your lock screen um, if you want to add other little things, you should use a different like a photo editor and then put that photo into this so you can add the timer and the and the custom text and the date and the weather and stuff like that. But anyways, so yeah. So we're going to put like a date. We're going to put our date and time. So I'm going to put a clock. Um and here's a clock right here. You can uh resize it any way you want. Um if you click on it, those these options right here will come up. Um, the first one's the font. You can change the font to anything you want. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. Um, so yeah, you can change the font. You can change uh, which position it's in. You can move it to the right. I don't know if you really want to use that because you can just move it anywhere anyways. Um, this right here is uppercase and lowercase. I don't think you'd do that for time. You can make the color, um, the color of the time anything you want. I'll make it blue or something. And you can add a glow to it, make the glow red. And um, you can't really see it, but um, while you're changing these little knobs, you can actually see the the um, that the actual things change up here while you're doing it. So yeah, you can add you can add a glow to it. You can add the glow amount. You can do all kinds of things. So you can add more stuff you can change the, the how the timer set up if you don't want an hour an hour if you want just the actual time you can just delete one of the H's and you have the actual time right here um, so yeah you can go through these um, go back to list add and change uh, you can add a custom text right here this is some text so if you click this and you click the the T with the parentheses around it or not parentheses yeah parentheses no, um, quotation marks. What am I thinking? Anyways, sorry, I had a blonde moment. Um, yeah, you can edit anything you want. Let's put a little high. Make it big. I don't know. You can do it. Have fun with it. Do anything you want. Then when you're done, you're gonna click done and click um, this little, this little arrow pointing out of a box. I don't know. Just click it and you can click save theme, or you can save as new. I'll just save it as new because I already have a theme. So here, here's all your save themes that you can do. Um, so yeah, um, once once you pick one, um, say I want like this one right here, I can just click activate theme. It'll activate it and it'll put it into this. Then from here, you can go into the box again and click set as lock screen. So if you set that as a lock screen, um, I didn't do anything. To, as you can see, this is my lock screen. It's normal. It has the top bar. Has this. Um, the slider will have trick slide on but anyways um, so yeah I set it as lock screen but it hasn't done anything yet so to actually activate it so once you set as lock screen you have to go into winter board go to select themes and then you'll have this typo clock builder if you click that go back and respring it Ooh, it's bright gotta change that And uh, 
here's my lock screen. Here, I'll show you right now. Okay, change the brightness back down. Okay. There's my lock screen. It's back to normal. Or not normal, but the way I wanted it. And if you can tell, this is not supposed to be here. Um, you can, you, you, there's numerous ways to uh, get rid of that. I use this app called Springomatize. I'll also do a video on that later. But once you download Springomatize, you can go down to Springomatize. Oh, Springtomize. My bad. Springtomize. Go down to that. Go to lock screen. And you can click hide top bar. Go back and reload it. It's going to be bright again, I think. Oh, nope. All right. And there. It gets rid of. It gets rid of that top bar, so you can actually see the um, you can actually see the actual time and the feb the day and right here is the weather. I put in a weather thing right here, and uh, my little Guilford PM with the little face. But anyways, yeah, that's how you uh, customize it. Have fun with it, Clock Builder.